So in my previous unboxing and review video, we take a look at the capabilities of the Suunto 9 Peak and its design and its features. Overall, it was a really solid sports-oriented smartwatch that is tailored more towards those serious athletes that want only the best for tracking their progress. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the interface, the app, as well as the accuracy of some of the sensors in the watch to see if it's any good. So let's start off with the watch interface of the Suunto 9 Peak. And whether you have the standard 9 Peak or the titanium version, everything inside the watch interface is the same. And there's two main ways to interact with the watch. One way is to use the start screen and another way is to use the buttons at the side itself. So it's convenient because sometimes when you have gloves on, whether you're cycling or snowboarding, you can still operate the watch with the buttons. So at the home page here, this is where you'll notice the watch display is always on and they don't turn off. The only thing that changes here is the screen brightness, so that's especially smart because the brighter your surroundings is, the clearer the watch will look. So from the home page here, if you swipe to the right, this is where you get your dates uh, as well as your battery percentage and you can swipe back to go back to the home page. So at the home page here, this is where you get your watch face and it's pretty standard here, but unlike traditional smartwatch where you can just press and hold on the screen to change the watch interface, uh, there's no way to do that here. So in order to change the watch interface, you have to go into the settings. So all you're gonna do is swipe down and go all the way to the top where you find settings. And inside the settings, this is where you scroll all the way to the bottom and you will get watch faces. You can either press on it or you can press the middle button here and it will go into the settings. So inside here, you can choose up to 11 different types of uh, preset watch faces and you can add more or less uh, inside this watch. So once you pick a watch face that you like, for example, if I choose this one, I can just press in the middle dial and this is where I can choose the color. There's basically two colors for most of them, either blue or purple. And you can just press the middle button again and the watch face is set. So swipe like this to go back to the home page. And this is how the watch face will look like. So in order to access the menu of the smartwatch, all you're gonna do is swipe down from the home screen or you can also use the top button in order to enter the menu. And this is where you will scroll through some of the menu items. So the first one you'll see is exercise, navigation, logbook, timer, and settings. So those are some of the menu items. So inside the exercise menu, you can click inside and you can choose from 80 different exercises that you have here. But one smart thing that Sunto does here is that instead of having you scroll through all the different sports that you might or might not do, you get to configure this inside the app so you can only choose those sports that you frequently use and then you can select them and put them as your presets. So in order to go into start tracking a sport, all you're gonna do is press the middle button and you can start your workout. So once you start any sport, you will see the GPS start to find signal. Uh, but if you're indoors like where I am now, you're not gonna get any signal. So with that, we can exit the screen here, press N and it will finish your workout. So you can just choose how you feel and we're done. So under the navigation menu, this is where you can manage and calibrate your compass or you can add routes, uh, you can check your location and so on and so forth. But one thing I want to highlight here is the routes because this is a very cool feature where you can adjust the routes inside the Suunto app itself and then you can sync it to your phone. So once you sync it to your phone, you can have the routes navigation even if you don't have GPS on. And in this case, I've created a route called the Wheel Tester. So if I click into it and you can see the route itself and you can press on the top button here to start navigating. So we'll start looking for GPS signal and since we're indoors, we're not gonna get uh, any GPS signal here. So that's basically under navigation. So the logbook feature lets you look at all your past workouts or activities. And unfortunately for now, we're still under the movement control because of the COVID virus. So I can't really go out and cycle and you know lock some miles on here. But if you click onto it, you will see any past exercises. So this was the one that I've just recorded earlier. And that's how you can check all the different uh, statuses that you have. The next one will be a timer. So this one will be pretty straightforward. You either get a stopwatch where you can start or stop and reset. 
and if you swipe from the bottom this is where you can choose either to have stopwatch or you can set a specific timer uh, in order to use the timer feature so that's basically the timer feature and lastly you get settings so if you click into settings this is where you get your general settings you can also set an alarm on the watch itself so you don't have to go into the app in order to select the alarm uh, you can set your connectivity so this is where you will select uh, whether to pair a bluetooth sensor so this is where you can pair all your uh, running ports your power meter uh, outdoor again this is just some settings for you to set your altitude navigation so this is where you get to calibrate your compass and more information about that under activity this is where you can uh, set some of the goals that you want for example you want daily 24 7 heart rate tracking what's your step targets your calorie targets and notification about your activities so that's under activity under training this is where you get to set your weekly goals and intensity zones you can also set what is your sleep tracking so the weird thing about this is that you have to set a specific sleep tracking time for example in my case i'm going to put 11 55 to 8 a.m so if i sleep within that period it will automatically track but if i sleep earlier than that it doesn't track the additional portions so that's something to take note of uh, next you can toggle whether you want notification or not in this watch so for me i turn them off because i don't like to see a lot of notification and lastly is watch face which is the same as what we saw earlier so in terms of the menu this is what some of the things that you will get so you can just swipe like this and you will go back to the home page so the next one that we want to talk about is the widgets that are built into the watch so in order to check certain uh, things inside the watch you can uh, press on the bottom button and this is where you will get some of the widgets the first one here is heart rate so you will start tracking your heart rate and if you click on the screen it will go into blood oxygen and the sensor at the back will start detecting your uh, blood oxygen and starts measuring so you can see that it's uh, lighting up at the back so if we swipe into it you can see the details of your heart rate and you can also swipe around to look at more information so going back to the main uh, widget screen this is where you can swipe down and the next part is going to track your stress level or recovery uh, so after you do a workout it will start tracking your well-being to see how are you using your resources whether your body is stressed or not so it looks like i'm very stressed now so uh, you can also look at some information about how your resources are being used so pretty cool stuff there Swipe down, you get to see your pedometer. You can also see how you have been averaging uh, throughout the week. And next, you also have summary of your training. So this is a pretty good place for you to see how you have been active uh, in your life. So from here, you can also check your altitude. This is also where you check your barometer. Very cool, right? To tell you whether or not it's gonna rain. And if you swipe down from there, this is where you get to see your sleep statuses. So this is how many hours I slept yesterday. And if you swipe in, you can also see details about your sleep tracking. It'll tell you uh, how you slept yesterday, whether you slept well or not. And lastly, after sleep tracking, this is where you get to see your fitness instructions. And if you press and hold the middle button, you go in and you will be able to see some of your uh, fitness information and instructions. So that's basically all of the widgets you get inside the Sunto 9 Peak. So the Sunto app is really straightforward and easy to use and at the homepage here you will get information about your progress. Uh, you can also see how many hours you have worked out within the entire month, your duration. And if you swipe across you can also see some information about your, your health, your progress. Uh, you can see how many hours you slept uh, yesterday and so on and so forth. So your steps and your calories and if you click into any one of them you can see the details uh, of your well-being and it's all summarized in a pretty cool page like this so that's nice and on the top left here if you click into it this is where you get to sync your watch once you open up the app it will automatically start syncing your watch and one cool thing here that i want to highlight is the sport modes customization and if you click in here this is where you get to select and shortlist what are the activities that you want to track inside your watch so you can edit and remove any one that you don't use or you can also create the different sport modes that you want 
and you have about 80 in total for you to adjust and add into your watch. So that's really cool. So if you go back to the home screen here, if you click into the second calendar, this is where you get to see the summary of your activities, how active you have been. And if you go to the next screen, this is also another summary of your workout. So this is your diary and it tells you information about your uh, workouts, your steps, your calorie burns and your sleeping patterns. So here you can see uh, these are all the sleeps that I have tracked so far, pretty consistent. Uh, you can click into any one of them and you get to see the same breakdowns as uh, what you get before. So that's very nice. And when you click onto the fourth one, so this is your uh, navigation and GPS. Uh, very cool here because one great thing that you can do here is to set the routes that you want and then you can sync it to your phone and it's really easy to do. So assuming that I want to zoom in here and I want to plan a route to run around here, for example, all I got to do is press on the plus, I can say create route and all I got to do is press on a, a point and start marking where I want to go. So that's B, I want to run here. Now I want to go all the way back here, here, and go back to A. So once you plan that out, it will also tell you the distance, the elevation, and how difficult it will be. And once you get that set up, you can then sync it to your phone. You can press done, give it a name. So this is similar to what I've created earlier, the wheel tester. So you can create anything that you want give it a name once you give it a name you can save it and you can use it in your watch so if you don't have gps in certain locations this is a very useful tool and lastly if you go back to the main menu this is where you can see another summary but one cool thing here is you can start finding your friends and you can connect with them and you can also check your leaderboard uh, which is really cool stuff overall for the Sunto ecosystem very interesting and you can also sync it to your favorite apps like Strava so those are really nice so that's basically all of the features you get inside this Sunto app. So since we can't do much exercise now, we're just gonna look at two different accuracies uh, in two main aspects. Uh, first is the heart rate monitoring and also the SpO2 monitoring. Uh, heart rate monitoring is pretty accurate for the most part. So I've tested the accuracy with Apple Watch Mi Band 6 and the SpO2 varies by about 1% or 2%. But with the Sunto, I'm always getting around 80 plus percent in terms of my SpO2. If that's the case, I should be quite worried. But that's the benchmark that I have now and I'm still getting a proper oximeter shipped over. So we'll do a future test again to see if it's accurate in that sense. So I hope this video gives you a better view into the watch and helps you understand the UI and the app and how everything works before you buy the watch. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.